Yes. Well, boys and girls, uh, the N54 is back at its finest with a misfire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I literally haven't done anything to this car at all ever since I bought it, except obviously the wrap, the headlights, which was a pretty big hit. They do look good. But besides that, engine bay wise, I literally put it on the cowl and I said, all right, we're just gonna fully send it. I've been driving it around for, what has it been? It's like two months? Something. Uh... I think it's been two months. Car hasn't given me any issues until one day I decided to, you know, give it the beans. And okay, it's done. I decided to give it the full beans. And by the way, it's still smoking. It does. I uh, didn't fix the turbos. The valve cover shit that I tried to do it didn't fix it. But anyways, I tried to give it full beans, and uh, I got a drivetrain malfunction in fourth gear. I had 5,000 RPM. So my guess is that the spark plugs or the coils are bad, which I've never looked at, never tried to diagnose it. So let's go for a drive and see if we can replicate what I'm saying. Yeah. And then we'll see what we can do as far as fixing this piece of crap <coughs> and also show you guys I guess the update on everything else plus all the other Clapton 54s that we have here that's always exciting yeah by the way uh this is the the new um camera for the car dude I, I can see us in it I haven't made a video this is the new gap camera so I gotta install <laughs> one in the back and then I'll show you guys the full works but it's one of the I guess sponsors for the channel it looks pretty nice and it I does look works. nice i just seen our faces on there and i think it works pretty good as well because like the image is pretty clear uh i won't really disclose any of the other information just yet because we will be doing some interior stuff in the car there's some big shit coming some big shit that i need to ship out to literally big shit yeah big shit to netherlands uh, right and then they'll ship it back. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That, and then we also have a new head unit for the car that I haven't done yet. Um, also this is my baby monitor. You can see my, my child in the back. So I have a camera in the Damn, back seat. bro, fully decked. Yeah, Family this, wagon with a purpose. This is a 2022 model, bro. <laughs> it's got you rear just camera. wireless charger now, that's all. <laughs> Got a rear camera, front camera, side camera, whatever camera you want. Uh, hopefully this thing replicates what it did before. I did have to pull over when I got the drivetrain malfunction. And you know, true BMW fashion, we have a check engine light. Yeah. That's actually for the EVAP system because this car was obviously swapped with the N54. The rear end is out of a 335 and the charcoal canister is on a wrong side so some of the stuff is like iffy so i do have to fix that but that's what the check engine lights for and i think my o2 sensors are bad which will also be addressed with something other some, like i said some big more, shit some big some shit. some other big shit some big shit um and then besides that look at this oh man bro this is like this is like a that's a unicorn right yeah, there this is a dinosaur right here a working cup holder and an e90 which i just replaced because i had to use that one for a while yeah. and it was getting really annoying and then also we have to do the door handles because i have disgusting door handles like this guy had on his car but he just replaced them yeah, and I took his door handles Yeah, to make so, the video. So he took my door handles. And it's going viral. Thank you, sir. And uh, they're running short because... <laughs> it's sold out. <laughs> it's sold out. And, you know, just we're going to blame COVID for everything. <laughs> so let me demonstrate you this misfire. So we're in fourth gear. We'll give it the full beans. You can't really feel it. I felt... 
Well, you can't feel it in the camera, obviously, but it's uh, it's definitely there. There was a misfire, but it didn't go into drive chain malfunction. It didn't go through it because I don't think I'm in a high enough gear, so we'll go to fifth gear next time. But last time it was a pretty pretty harsh misfire because uh, I just had to like pull over to the side and just completely stop and turn off the car. Once you turn it off, it goes away, but it comes back when you full throttle. Let's see if we can get a misfire again. Holy! Holy, that's fast. Yeah, misfired again in cylinder. I mean, not cylinder. Uh, in fifth gear. Yeah, we felt it. It's not going through drivetrain malfunction for some reason. That's weird. But. Like you said, the weather's not as saucy today. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely misfiring. I don't know what cylinder it is, but I know for sure that it is going to misfire when it's colder outside, most likely, because as soon as I hit fifth gear, it's starting to go, you know? Yeah, it's like it, like, like it passes gas momentarily. Yeah. And uh, we definitely did smoke a little bit, but... That's a turbo issue for another day. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> that blow off valve is loud as hell. Uh, it's a combination of blow off valve plus the duck noise. The duck noise is still not gone, by the way. If you're wondering, and I have no idea what it is, because I've tried my catch can setup differently. I've tried, you know, adjusting my inlets well i didn't adjust the bottom where the, they connect to the turbo but i did adjust the top just to see if the noise goes away and it's still there so valve cover bro <sighs> valve cover is <laughs> on the list to do as well and uh, in the near future we are going to do a vargas setup just like we did on the e90 by the way if you don't know e90 sold if you follow me enough you should know that the e90 sold but yeah, we're gonna do the same setup as far as the valve cover on the E91 to get rid of all those unnecessary things that come with the stock valve cover. And it also like looks nice. So let's do some diag. Yeah. So, step one, open your hood. <laughs> Blown shocks. Step two, look at your motor and just contemplate life for a little <laughs> bit. Step three, you're gonna have to scan the car. And to scan the car, today we're gonna be using Top Dawn Phoenix Pro Plus something, something like that. Let me look it up first. <laughs> I gotta look it up. So, what we're using today is Top Dawn Phoenix Plus bi-directional scan tool. It has a lot of options and I think it's sufficient enough for somebody that owns a shop or you, even if you want to buy it for yourself. It would be a really nice tool because it does everything for you. Um, service interval, you know, reset, diag. You can also actuate certain sensors certain you know actuators whatever it is like if you want to do a water pump and then you want to bleed it you can use this to bleed the system uh... <laughs> hey they're working on your car bro <laughs> okay but yeah, it does everything. So I'll show you how, I'll show you guys what it looks like after you scan the car and then connect and everything. And you guys can see what I can do with this. It does come with the uh, MHD adapter, <laughs> <laughs> AKA it's on Bluetooth module thing. So you just plug it in, it turns Ooh, green. Fancy. Key position two. So you get that. Let's uh, make it stop making noise that's a ha that's a pro hack right there by the way yes 
if you want your card to shut up, you just do that. So you have a bunch of different, you know, brands. Like I don't even know what. Trupshi, Tata, Tata India. What I don't know. United Pakistan. I don't know what those brands are, but it has a bunch of brands. We're not worried about those. We only need BMW. So press OK, connects to Bluetooth, and then it sits on the screen for a little bit. Then it connects to the car. Once it connects, you have an option to come on. So it detects the 328, 2011, VIN number, blah, blah, blah. Obviously this is not a 328 anymore, but it scans every module just like a 335. So automatic search. This process takes a little bit longer because it's scanning the whole entire car for all the, all the different modules. Then you press next. It says turn off ignition so you can read all the modules. I don't do it. So it just went through its whole thing. It scanned every single um, module. So now you have a, what's it called? The system tree or whatever it's called, or a module tree. You're so freaking has, the camera out with the autofocus when you put your hand like that. <laughs> so it has every single module on here that the car comes with. You press, you, right, you can either press system scan or smart scan. I do smart scan because it scans every single module and it finds faults in whatever module you have. So. Ta-da! Oh, that scan was fast. So it scans every single thing. So DME or ECM, which is the same shit, has four faults. FRM has one. FBI, I don't know what FBI is, or CD. Those two have also faults and SGM ZGM has a fault whatever I don't care about any of those so I'm just gonna go to ECM go to fault codes it gives me all the hardware number blah 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 everything you need and then we go continue read fault codes uh, that's a new one Electric coolant pump. Mm. <coughs> 54. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one because uh, I haven't had that fault code. Um, like I said, I have o oxygen sensor faults previously, so that's not a new code. It says after catalytic converter, so most likely I'm just going to have to replace both. Fuel tank vent valve, which is that shit that I was talking about that the car has been swapped and there's a bunch of different things going on in the system and it actually detects a minor leak. So most likely a fuel cap or there's a leak in the system overall. I don't know where it is. And then power management, closed circuit. That's usually from, usually you get that code from MHD adapter cause it's been plugged in so long, but it never does anything. Uh, we don't have any misfire codes. I did scan this car once before and it did have a cylinder 3 misfire. So we're going to go ahead and assume that it's a cylinder 3 again because I didn't do anything to it. And for now we're just going to go clear. And your N54 is fixed. <laughs> That's it. You get a top down scanner, clear the codes, N54 <laughs> is fixed. <laughs> uh, but I was saying as far as uh, actuating stuff so you can actuate the coolant pump say activation failed okay so there's something going on with the water pump cool electric fan let's see can I turn on my electric fan there you go I hear it Man, bro, full blast. Yeah. So this tool definitely does a lot of a lot of things. Like you can actually actuate fuel pump, injectors, 
vent valve, radiator shutter if you have that, but that's only on a newer G chassis cars. And besides that, you can read, you know, data streams has everything on there as well. Like fuel delivery, fuel pressure, Venos, all that was. And then if you go also here, I'm oh, sorry. Special functions. You have all kinds of things like brake bleeding, DSC sensor adjustment, drive, you go to, you know, uh, you can reset CAS, all kinds of stuff. There's, there's just too many. Starter interlock, sometimes starter gets like fucked up or something. And then initialize. Windows, uh, let's see, register and battery exchange, you can do that as well. So you can register your battery after you replace it. Saves you, it saves you like $150 at the dealer to do that. Yeah, because you literally just put in the information, go to your special functions, and then just register the battery. It also has a coding option, which I didn't, I didn't download the update yet which I need to but you can code all the modules like let's say if you replace your uh, FRM module because it's bad or something like that you just put the new one in go into the coding and programming option select FRM code and it codes the FRM to the car so since I kind of know that it's a cylinder 3 we're just gonna go ahead and do all of them yeah because Doing one spark plug and a coil at a time, it's just not me. So we're just gonna replace all six coils, all spark plugs, and see how the car reacts. But if you want an easy diag, you need one of these. Just saying. I'll leave links down below. Amazon, you can get it pretty fast. So changing spark plugs and coils, I don't think it's a rocket science. <laughs> but in case you didn't know, I'll show you. You just do this, you know. You just keep doing this for six cylinders. Oh god. Come on. Sometimes plugs do get stuck. These look fairly new. But just not my type. I like to use Delphi. These look like Eldor. Yeah, those do look like Eldor. Maybe they are old. They just don't look old. <laughs> no, that one definitely has some water in it. That's what happens when you guys don't want cow system ladies and gentlemen yeah so previously it didn't have a cow system i put it on because of that <laughs> i'm sure people are gonna be like, oh my god he's taking out spark plugs with a tool or a power tool yeah or well, it gets better when he puts them on with the power tool yeah <laughs> if you got something to say get, get about the fucking power tool shit, I don't give a fuck. That doesn't look like caca. It looks like a new spark plug too. That one looks fine too. Ah, look at that one. Looks like my cylinder three. Yep. Yep. I need some gloves. So cylinder three looks kind of iffy compared to this guy or this guy. I don't really trust whatever was in there anyways. I mean, it says NGK and blah, 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 but I'm just gonna put my own spark plugs in there because I know how much I gapped them to. I know what I'm doing, kind of. That one looks fine. Six. Oh lord. Oh my god. 
This one looks fucked up too. So, tip number two. If you're on those bullshit ass BMS filters, guess what? The water goes in your fucking cylinder or on top of your spark plug, on top of your coil, and then you get this. And possibly so, your DME if it's not sealed correctly. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, stop using the BMS filters. They are ass. <laughs> and use a cowl system that came with the car. There's a reason why it's there. So use it. Don't just like cut it in half so there's no like protection for it. So they're five and six. Use the damn cow. I see it all the time on every single fucking car. Let me get spark plugs and coils. I'm gonna go to a vehicle viral store right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna meet you over there so I can check you out. I'm back from vehicle viral store. <laughs> I got a fast and free shipping. Same day shipping. Same bro. day shipping. What's and up? it got hand delivered by Vehicle Viral's himself. Exactly. <laughs> uh, brand new Delphi coils. Or as people call them, S55 coils. Same shit. <laughs> don't get fooled. It's the same thing. Don't pay double the price. Yeah, don't pay the double the price. <laughs> M4, M M3s, use the same coils. And for the most part, most F10 and 5s too. Yes. Except the 2016. But they all use the same shit. Yeah. And when people say, oh, <laughs> I have S55 coils, same fucking shit. <laughs> so, we got six of these. I got new spark plugs, also from Vehicle Viral Store. Wow. Let me go get it. I'm back. <laughs> I went to Vehicle Viral, so I got a card that says thank you. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can go ahead and uh, hit us up on IG and Facebook. Yes, sir. This was a shameless plug, but guess what? <laughs> Everything is on the website. <laughs> Everything. I'll leave, I'll leave links down below. But I got new where they were put in the car, but they came right back out because we did a B58 conversion. So I got new spark plugs that are gapped to 0 0.020, I believe. Yeah. Whatever it is. But I gapped them already, so we're just gonna put those in, put new coils and see if this thing purrs a little bit better. Mm. Yes. Uh, I would say it's uh, pretty smart to always gap these plugs, no matter if it's a uh, OEM or if it's um, like a, I don't know, stage two car, stage two plus. I usually always gap them to the same thing, 0 0.020 0 or 0 0.020. 0 0.022. 0 0.022, sorry. Yeah. So I always gap them to either 20 or 22, just to be safe. Uh, most you gotta say the zero be before it, so people don't do the 0.22. Yeah, don't do the, don't, don't, do, <laughs> don't do the 22, two because uh, you'll probably have no spark. Um, usually it's a safe bet for a stock car or a car that's tuned and running bolt-ons. Obviously, this car is full volt on on a stage two MHD off the shelf, and it's a V5 stage two, so it's pretty saucy. But it's a safe bet to run them all pretty much the same. Yeah. Unless you're E85, E85. Some cars I've done 0 0.018. 1 yeah. It depends on your tuner, to be honest. Yeah. Also that. Watch this. <laughs> oh! I did that. But guess what? I'm not going like <laughs> fucking to the point where it gets stuck in the fucking cylinder. Oh! Yeah. And guess what? It won't miss fire. I bet you. Bet you $20 it won't misfire. So, after you drive them in, we're just gonna tighten them by hand.
Ta-da! Last step, some coils. They do package these like heavy. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but safety first, you know. Safety. You need protection. Yeah, especially when FedEx drivers treat these packages like basketballs. Yeah, they're like <laughs> three-pointer from downtown. And then you're like, bro, those are like brand new spark plugs. <laughs> Worst part is they brick it. Like yeah. Westbrook. <laughs> Boom, hit the rim. It's a back iron, bro. They're probably like, who's Westbrook? If you know, you know. Exactly. Be curious to see if anybody catches that and comments about it. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, bro, you watch basketball? Shit, I play the damn game. And I make more shots than Westbrook. He ain't wrong. <laughs> he ain't wrong. <laughs> Before anybody starts talking crap, of course, I don't play for the NBA. I'd probably be worse than Westbrook. But for a pro athlete that makes $45 million a year, it's unacceptable to, acceptable to go zero for 12. I hope we make it on uh, ESPN for saying this. <laughs> Westbrook, you suck. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta it's all done. Um, I don't really think we need a test drive. Because you can't really tell. On video anyways. But, I will report on this in my next video. Um, but I do want to say one thing though. These oils we've used on every single car that we have. I've never had issues, and I've actually had issues with precision race work coils where people are running JB4. They use the precision race works with JB4, and the car misfires, but it auto clears it so you never see it. And then you switch to MHD from JB4, and the car misfires through the, throughout the RPM range. Swap these out, car runs perfect. So, Interesting. Don't waste your money on PR coils. They're garbage. So if you want to do proper coil conversion, either stick to OEM or go to this. Damn! B58 coil conversion, Nexus plate, or you can get the Vargas plate. Both same shit. Yeah, we saw the Vargas plate conversion. Yeah, Vargas plate comes with a bunch of different options as far as colors. They have even carbon fiber one which I, I don't know how it looks, but it looks pretty badass on pictures. But you use factory OEM B58 coils with B58 spark plugs. It's a lot more output, blah, 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 all the scientific terms that I'm not gonna go into. It's just better. It's either this or Delphi in my opinion, because you also have a car right there, which I have a key for. This is a Speedtech bottom mount. Just 700 package. <laughs> Don't pay attention to this. This is uh, this is gonna get fixed. But same thing, Delphi coils with Vargas plate and hold down bracket. And car makes 760 wheel. Sheesh. Yeah. Stock motor. Stock motor has just bearings. Obviously, port injection has the Vargas catch can, valve cover setup. Everything, as far as this goes, we sell on our website. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also, I did pretty, I guess a pretty cool thing with this car, which would be the exhaust. So, let me show you how it sounds. Yeah. What is that, a Rare 3 setup?
it's an N54 car, but it has a E92 M3 rear bumper conversion. It's not an actual M3 bumper because it is wider. The rear section of the exhaust is actually off of a M3, but it's an OBX aftermarket rear section. And then the midsection, we have a three and a half inch straight pipe going to a V-band, and then obviously a, a bottom mount speed tech kit. This thing sounds badass. Yeah. And I think it's one of the best sounding exhausts I've, I've done. Sounds deep. It sounds very deep. You sure that's not an M3? Kind of. <laughs> kind of resonates with an M3, but not really, because you got a sound of a T51R mod yeah. up front. But I think it looks no rasp. Yeah, I think it looks very good too. Yeah. So you gotta hit up your boy if you want that setup. <laughs> you better have everything ready for it too. You better have the rear bumper and all that stuff. And the money. Yeah. This is this is kind of expensive. Just the exhaust, the rear section alone, from like, if you buy it from OBX, it's like $700. You mean if you buy it from us? Well, you can buy it from us, but you can also buy it on eBay. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. I don't know if we sell it or not. We don't sell that. Oh, we don't? Oh, never mind. But I can purchase it for you so you don't purchase the wrong shit. Okay. But the rear section alone is like $700. Plus, I have to modify it. Plus, I have to make everything up front from Vibrant. It gets pretty expensive yeah. but if you want it to sound like this and look like this hit me up yeah <laughs> By the way, this is a VRSF exhaust, so it sounds different. Yeah, and it's twins. I just inhaled like two gallons of carbon monoxide. And some, and some oil smoke. <laughs> I think we fixed it. We'll see. We'll test it out because we're going to race the Supra. Literally, we'll taste it out. We're going to test it out in a race. <laughs> yes. We're going to race the Supra and see. Maybe the wagon will keep up with it, you know. We'll see. A 2020 Supra with a B58. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, guess what? I'm changing my setup. <laughs> and I'm coming back for that ass. You got to hold them to that. Ah, well, it's going to happen. Yeah, win or lose. It's going to happen, win or lose. And then he's going to come back for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back with revenge for, with this car right here. <laughs> S52 NA, what's up? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll leave the links to everything down in the description below. Scanner, Delphi coils, spark plugs, whatever the fuck that has. All the other stuff, Vargas stuff. So make sure to check it out. Follow me on Instagram. Because you get you do get a little bit more updates on there. Not as much, but you still get some updates. But, cheers. Yes.